If you guys would like to go ahead and purchase a cheap and instant GTA 5 modded account for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, then make sure you guys do check the link in the description of this video. Welcome back y'all, it's your man Wavy Gamer coming at you with another GTA 5 online video. This video is an update on the lowrider duplication I posted yesterday, got a new method, shout out to Bruntango. Alright, so first thing you want to do is join an invite only session with one friend. Alright, tell that friend to start up any Rockstar created mission, it don't matter which one. After he starts it up, send him an invite to your garage and walk over to the blue circle, hit right on the d-pad. After you hit the blue circle and you see your vehicle list, press start, go to online. Go to players, join your friend's game, select his name, scroll down to join game, accept the first alert, accept the second one, it's going to automatically drop you back down in your garage. When you spawn in, press B. It automatically makes you select a vehicle for some reason, so just press B when you come in. After you press B, tell your friend to quit the job. Alright, so at this point, you're stuck in your vehicle list, but you can walk around with the left thumbstick. So use your left thumbstick and go stand behind the fourth vehicle. Don't stand behind the third one. As you see in the video, it didn't work for me. I'm about to try it right now. Make sure your retro is in slot six. If you got custom plates, make sure it's on your retro already because you won't be able to put custom plates on it after you do it. That means you'll have dirty plates and you'll get put in the penalty and only be able to sell one car every 30 hours like me. And you don't want that shit. All right. So. Go stand behind car four, um, walk up to the bumper, turn around, face the uh, wall, and walk towards the walls. Get as close as you can. That way when you switch the cars and they disappear, it takes longer for you to turn around and walk towards the front. All right, so when you swap three, four, five, six, right before you swap five and six, tell your friend to accept the invite to come to your garage. All right, so three, four, five, six, accept the invite. Automatically put me outside. He gonna get transferred into my garage because he accepted the invite as I was leaving. Now, before you buy the LG, make sure your LG is still in the same slot. So mine was in slot six. So ask your friend if you see your car in slot six. If you see your car in slot six, open up your phone, go to Legendary Motorsports, sort by price, and go buy a free LG and replace over slot six. When you replace over the car, it should say that you have an LG inside that slot, or RH8, or whatever car you was duping over. You know what I'm saying? But your friend sees the uh, LG Retro Custom, so you're good. So it's supposed to say that. So replace over the car. Now you just gotta wait for the car to be delivered. You know that shit take like two minutes. So just like the last video, I'm gonna fast forward through it. All right, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. All right, if the last glitch wasn't working for you, this one will probably work for you now. If you do have a blue circle and that is working for you, then I'll post another video on how to do it with the blue circle. All right, even though I don't have one. So this is why I'm showing you this one. All right, just like the last video, I didn't go through the front door. I ran around the back to the garage. So my LG was just delivered. Now I'm gonna walk inside the garage. When I go inside the garage, I'm gonna go back to garage one and my duplicate is gonna appear. My friend is still gonna be glitched inside my garage. So all you gotta do from here is just get inside your retro in slot six, which is your duplicate because your original is in slot five now. All right, so that's your duplicate that you're getting in right now in slot six. Take it inside the mine shop. You see, I got two of them now. When you get inside the mine shop, simple, change the plate. If you already have a custom plate, just change the plate. All right, um, I don't even think I had a custom plate on this one. I'm not even sure, but just to let y'all know. It really don't matter for me. I'm already in the nine month penalty. I can only sell one car every 30 hours. I 30 hours. I really don't give a damn if I got 30 dupes or not. They still sell for 970,000 a piece. So it don't matter. Oh, I do have a custom plate. All right, nice. Good for the video then. All right, so make sure you got a custom plate on your car. That way you don't have no problem with selling them. You can only sell nine every 30 hours within 10 minutes apart. All right. I'm Wavy Gamer. Hit that like button. Low rider duplication glitch. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.